Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes every single Saturday we sit down and we talk about all of the new makeup releases. Are they cute? Are they ugly? Are we purchasing? Are we passing? What are we doing with all the new makeup? It is the new year so the new makeup releases are about to amp back up and we're going to have a lot to talk about every week. As always, I will link everything down below for you with release dates, discount codes, all the information you need. Links for easy shopping are down in the description box, along with my favorite beauty boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you would like to recreate this look. And don't forget, come on over, follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. I'm going to pull up Trend Mood One and Indie Makeup Hotspot on Instagram, slide over, and let's dive into all the new makeup. Let's start with a drugstore makeup release from Essence. They have a big collection called Hugs and Teddies. This is going to include an eye and face palette, scrunchie, brush duo, plumping lip gloss, lip liner, scented nail stickers, and a matte nail polish. It's coming soon to the Essence website and it will eventually make its way over to Ulta. This is pretty cute. It is very, very neutral, so it's not something I'm going to pick up, but I think it's a cute collection and it's perfect for the everyday makeup wear. Generally, we navigate towards neutral shadows, neutral products. I think the lippy looks really pretty, the Hugs and Teddies lippy, and I like that Teddy material scrunchie, but this collection's going to be a pass for me, but stay tuned because it's coming to the Essence website and to your local store. Charlotte Tilbury's released her Lunar New Year 2023 collection. This is something she puts out every single year, and this year includes some favorite products in a lucky New Year Plum Blossom print. So these are all existing products. So all she did is repackage existing products into Lunar New Year packaging. I will say that I love the compact and the lipstick, that kind of floral pattern, beautiful, but if you already have these, you're not gonna buy them. I don't know why she just doesn't come out with new products for the release. But regardless, she has the Matte Revolution in Blossom Red for $37, which is an orange red lipstick. The Airbrush Flawless Finish for $46, which is a finishing powder in four shades. The Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray for $36. And her Magic Cream, which is her famous skincare for $100. So again, all of these are existing products in the Lunar New Year packaging. I do really like her setting spray, but I don't think that for what she charges, it's worth it. There's just never really been anything from Charlotte Tilbury that's become a staple for me or something that I'm like, yes, I will spend all the money for it because it's that good. So with that being said, this whole collection is a pass for me. This is exciting. I always love a good Sephora favorites kit. This is the Perfect Pout Lip Set. For $28, you're going to get from the brand Clinique, the Almost Lipstick in Black Honey, the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm, the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in Laguna, which I really like that it's a brown neutral shade. You're going to get Charlotte Tilbury's Hyaluronic Happy Kiss Lipstick Balm in Pillow Talk, which is in a full size. And then the other full size is going to be the Rare Beauty Kind Words Lip Liner in Fun. So all the other products are deluxe size samples, but you're getting two full size products. One of them, which is Charlotte Tilbury for $28. That's an incredible, incredible deal. I may pick this up, even though I don't need any more lip products. I really don't need any more lip products. But this is a great, great deal. I'll link this down below for you. Highly recommend. Ooh, this is pretty exciting. Replica, which is one of my favorite fragrance perfume brands, they released a brand new fragrance. Right now, it's only available in Canada, so all you lucky Canada people can grab this now. I imagine eventually it'll make its way here, but this is the Replica on a Date. How cute is that name? It says, inspired by a magical date on a late summer's evening overlooking the magnificent vineyards of Province at sunset. The big bottle is $144, and the smaller bottle is 76. So it says the fragrance family is florals, the scent type is warm florals, and the keynotes are black currant liqueur accord in Sparta rose petal and patchouli. It sounds really nice. When it does make its way here, I definitely am going to smell it in store. I love Beach Walk from Replica. It's one of my favorite summery scents. So I think I may actually really like this. And if you look in the picture, there's a candle. So if they're bringing out a candle, the replica candles are really, really good 
excellent, excellent throw. So I'm excited to try this out, test it out when it comes to the US. We have a new product from Kosas. I really like this kind of cobalt blue packaging. This is a sneak peek in their new baked blushes. Blush is life. It is a clean, silky, smooth powder baked blush with skincare additives in dimensional color duos. Moisturizes and balances with squalene, plumps with hyaluronic acid, smooths with passion fruit leaf extract, and the shade shown is the shade Hype. It looks like it's coming soon. I'll let you guys know if we get more information when this is actually released or if it is released at the time this video goes out. Of course, it'll be linked down below for you. I can't tell you the last time Laura Mercier had a release. It's been a long time. She's actually releasing the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. Only one shade is shown in the picture. It looks like it's coming soon. So it is going to have more shades than the one shown in the picture. Picture. I don't love Laura Mercier. I feel like she's kind of like early 2000s with her setting powder that I do enjoy her setting powder, but there's other more affordable ones that I use. So I'm not really drawn to this, but let me know if this is something you're interested in. I'll keep you guys updated as it releases. We have another new fragrance release, this time from Marc Jacobs. He's actually adding, adding to his Daisy light. I have his Daisy perfume. I really like it. This is the Daisy Paradise Edition. It says inspired by rare natural beauty and abundance of pink and purple florals in a desert super bloom. It is limited edition and there are several things coming. There's the Daisy O Oh, so fresh paradise for $104. This is a floral fruity woody. And then there's Daisy Love Paradise for 80, which is a floral gourmand woody. And then Daisy Paradise for 90, which is a floral green woody. The packaging, beautiful. And like I said, I do like the Marc Jacobs Daisy line. This is another thing I need to smell in store before bringing it into my collection but there's a possibility I'll be picking this up. Beauty Bay is launching a skincare line. Now, I don't think Beauty Bay's had a skincare line before. I could be wrong, maybe they did. If they did, let me know, but they are launching the Skincare Refresh, which is their, oh, it says relaunching their skincare line. So, okay, at some point they had skincare, but I don't think they do anymore. So this is focusing on ingredients, performance of the products, introducing new products, new names, educational content, on the packaging and more. So what they're launching is a new 5% squalling and grapeseed oil serum hybrid for $12. It says boost hydration for a dewy and radiant finish. That sounds really nice. I love a good dewy radiant finish. There's the new multi mask brush, which is a dual ended silicone spatula with a soft brush design. They're launching a cleansing balm. I'm definitely interested in that chamomile and oat lipid cleansing balm for $12, a prebiotic and avocado oil cleansing gel. No price on that one. Probably around the $12 point a collodial oatmeal and oat lipid moisturizer for $10 spot patches for $7.50, salicylic acid and niacinamide blemish paste, a salicylic overnight mask. Oh my gosh, there's so much. There's so many. I'm not even going to read them all, but literally it's an entire skincare line. It looks like it's coming January 4th on their website and you can actually use the code TRENDMOOD for 10% off. So it is actually the third one I'm filming today. So when you see this video, this is all available on Beauty Bay's website. Super affordable. I'm definitely intrigued. So NARS, NARS is never going to let orgasm die. <laughs> it's never going to die. It's like a cockroach in a nuclear explosion. Like it just doesn't die. So they're releasing to Ulta their new orgasm collection. Surprise! And this collection is inspired by Orgasm, the best-selling all-in-a-limited edition pink packaging. There is the Orgasm 4 Play Blush Quad for $45. That's going to include a blush, highlighter, and contour. The Orgasm Rising Eyeshadow Palette for $49. The Multiple for $39. Not interested. None of this interests me at all. Definitely a pass for me. And like I said, it's just never going to die. I wish that they would just come out with products that don't have Orgasm. It's kind of like Pillow Talk with Charlotte Tilbury. So welcome to our ColourPop segment release. They've just revealed their new collab collection with ColourPop and the Winx Club. I have no idea what the Winx Club is. I have no idea what that is. But this is the collection we've been waiting for that the community has asked for this. It includes the Just Like Magic Pressed Powder Eyeshadow Palette for $24. That's actually really, really pretty. The palette looks beautiful. Six Ultra Glossy Lips for $10 three light sticks for $11 each, Glitterly Obsessed for $10, and Face Jewels for $10. This is available at Ulta and on the ColourPop website as of January 5th, and on the ColourPop website, Trend Mood will save you 10%. 
I don't know what the Winx Club is. I think the palette's pretty, but I am, like you know, when I mentioned, when I did my eyeshadow palette, the clutter in my collection video, I am scaling back how much I buy this year. I'm trying to limit myself to two eyeshadow palettes per month because I have a huge collection. So as of right now, I'm passing on this. I definitely wanna see reviews on this, but I don't know who this Winx Club is, so it's not something I immediately have to have. I just saw that Tom Ford is releasing a fragrance called Cherry Smoke. And it says, cherry smoke plays with fire, bursting with the scent of dark cherry, lighted or ignited by seductive omethyst and smoldering smoked woods in a luxe deep red iconic private blend bottle. 1.7 ounces is $390. That's like that much. Oh my gosh. Wow. The keynotes are dark cherry flavor, the Osmoth Absolute China, and Cypril India, no. $390, absolutely not. But I'll link it down below. If you wanna spend $390 on Tom Ford, more power to you, I do not. Another Charlotte Tilbury release is the Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighters. Now I will say that Charlotte's highlighters are beautiful. The formula is really nice. They're kind of that scene from space highlight. That's the one thing from Charlotte Tilbury that kind of draws me in, although I don't own any of her highlighters. But this sounds pretty good. It says brighten, lift, and sculpt the look of your skin without creasing, caking, or settling into fine lines for a confidence boosting glow. Illuminating sculpting effect highlighter on your cheeks, jawline, eyes, nose, brows, and lips for a glowing, defined looking facial structure. So they're $48 a piece and it looks like it's coming in six different shades. I do like that because there's a little bit of something for everybody. It intrigues me. It definitely intrigues me. I think the packaging is really pretty. For me, it's the first shade that really icy highlight. That's what I love. But I have a lot of highlighters, so that's what kind of pulls me back. But if I were to add anything to my collection from Charlotte Tilbury, it would 100% be one of her highlighters. Makeup Forever is launching some new lipsticks. These are the Rouge Artist Velvet Nude Soft Matte Lippies for $25 each. It's coming in seven matte shades for every skin tone and undertone with moisture boosting hyaluronic acid and promotes a 10 hour wear. I like the packaging of these a lot. And then there is the Hourglass Unlock Satin Cream Lipstick. Okay, so we have a release from Makeup Forever and Hourglass. The Makeup Forever is $25. The Hourglass does not have a price. You can bet it'll be more than $25 though. These are ultra hydrating lipstick with a satin cream finish, buildable full coverage. Has a sleek gold magnetic case. It is infused with mango seed butter, avocado oil, and argan oil. Vegan, cruelty-free, 13 shades. I will link everything down below for you. The Makeup Forever definitely catches my attention. I think it's the fun packaging. And I actually decluttered all of my bullet lipsticks because I never use them. Never, ever, ever. So I'm going to skip the hourglass. Definitely check out the Makeup Forever. There's only one indie makeup release. They've slowed down, it seems like, a little bit. I'm sure it'll pick back up as we move through January. But this is a great indie makeup release from Odin's Eye. You guys know how much I love Odin's Eye. This is the collection of 42 single eyeshadows. There's the M series, which are multi-chrome eyeshadows. There's 12 of those. And the S series, which are shimmer eyeshadows. And there's 30 of those. So the single shimmer eyeshadows are retailing for $6.90 each. The multi-chromes are $14.90 each. You can buy a single container. So if you only want to pick up two or three single shadows, you can buy the container for $2.90 or you can buy a 12 pan palette, empty storage palette for $6.90. These are available as of January 5th, so they're available now. I'll link them down below. Really great prices for multi-chromes and shadows. I love that the palette that you can put them in, they have the singles, they have the 12 pan. Really a great idea. These are beautiful. I've actually seen reviews and swatches on YouTube. They're stunning. However, however, I do not reach for my single shadows Ever. I'm actually wearing single shadows today only because I made a mindful choice to use them because they just sit in my collection. So for me, I'm passing as much as I love Odin's Eye. If this was a palette, you can bet I'd have picked it up, but I know, I just know myself and that I won't reach for my single shadows, but I'll link this down below for you. It's a great way to pick up beautiful shimmers and multi-chromes for an affordable price. So that is all of this week's new makeup releases. Let me know down in the comments, what are you picking up? What are you passing on? I feel like I'm passing on a lot, but there's some that I'm intrigued by, but I need more info. Like I need to smell the fragrances or see reviews. There's some lip products that I'm really 
really excited about. There's some new things being released that I definitely will add to my collection. I will, of course, link everything down below for you for easy shopping. You'll also find my favorite beauty subscriptions, all the makeup that I'm wearing today, and my TikTok. So come follow me there for a little bit more beauty on a budget. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.